my channel I hope you're all doing well if you're new here my name is Terrell and I make two videos a week they're all about fashion beauty travel lifestyle so if that's what you're interested in make sure you stay around and subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up so today's video I am going to be showing you guys how I fake tan very British thing we're all about fake tan in the UK because we have no sun literally last week was super sunny we had about 29 degrees which is really really hot for London especially um, I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit I'm not sure I, I don't know we do degrees Celsius over here so that's what it is in degrees Celsius but yeah I just had a meeting this morning and literally as soon as I walked through the house it started raining and this is what I was wearing and not very weather appropriate it's a bit chilly today but that is exactly why we need to know how to fake tan in the UK that is why I have got a fake tan tutorial for anyone who's going on holiday not going on holiday anywhere around the world whatever it is whatever your reason for stumbling across this video I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys enjoy my tutorial on how to get a streak free fake tan tan look whatever it is I don't know <laughs> I wanna be. start to think about self tanning or fake tanning I always like to scrub my skin today I'm going to be using the N Spa salt and oil scrub and I'm just scrubbing all over my body all of my joints and everything just making sure that there's no lumps or bumps or anything that can lead to a streaky or uneven tan and you need to really work in to those areas like your knees ankles elbows shoulders and your wrists. I just wash it all off and towel dry myself and I just use like a patting motion because I feel like it's a lot better than moving the skin around. So now I'm using the Bondi Sands Extra Dark, that's my favourite colour because you only need to use it for six hours and in slow strong movements I place this over my skin. And as I'm going across my leg, you can see that I do add more colour, but I make sure that I always, always blend it out so that there's no streaks and no lines. Every single time it's blended out, and look at the difference. So just constantly rub it in, and I always start from my leg down, and then work my way up. And any excess that's left on the mitts, I kind of use it on the back of my knees and the front of my knees as well. And then I work my way up to my shoulders, do a bit of my neck as well and just make sure that all those lines that you can see are always blended out. And again, use the excess product just onto my arms and my hands. And it's just like eyeshadow, you just need to constantly make sure you're constantly blending. And now I'm taking the Tan Lux Sleep Oil and I'm using six to 10 drops all over my face and this gives you like an overnight glow. And I just rub that in like a normal face serum. Now that I have got all my fake tan on, I'm gonna leave this on for six hours and then I'm going to wash it off. Usually I like to do this routine at night so that it's just not taking up half of my day waiting around. And for the purposes of this video, obviously I'm doing it during the day. This is supposed to be overnight, so I might leave this on even longer, but definitely my body is gonna get washed in six hours. And I will see you guys then. So it's now been six hours. I look so shiny and blotchy. I look really, really dark right now. I have to go and wash this all off now, but I thought I'd come and show you guys what it looks like 
before I was just about to wash it off. I've literally been sitting in like a t-shirt and a pair of shorts all day waiting for it all to like dry so that I didn't get any streaky marks or anything. I've had to put a light on now. I wasn't filming with a light earlier. It's not dark, but it's getting dark right now. But yeah, I think I'm gonna wash my face off as well. And we're just gonna go and see how it all looks. <laughs> Okay, so I'm now showered and this is my turn. As you can see, there are no streaks whatsoever. I'm pretty happy with this. My face has got like a slight glow to it. I could have probably left it on for a bit longer. Um, I was just feeling really, really shiny. I wanted to wash it off. But I'm really, really happy with this. My legs also look incredible. I'm so happy about this. I'm actually gonna film my intro and my outro tomorrow when I come back from my meetings, which will be today for you guys. I'm gonna show a full what I'm wearing and what my tan looks like in a pair of shorts or in a skirt or something. And yeah, so this is the tan. Love it. So there we have it. That is my tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This is what the tan looks like the next morning. Very, very nice, glowy. I feel like I have just come back from holiday. I have no patches anywhere. And the key to getting an even fake tan is to make sure that you scrub your skin, moisturize your areas like your knees, your ankles, and your, what are these called? your elbows, that's it. Make sure you moisturize those so that they're not dry and once you do start applying the fake tan, make sure you buff it into the skin and buff it in more than you think you need to. Trust me, that is my tip. I always use a mitt and I just constantly rub it in circular motions like so. I just put it all over my body in that circular motion and I just buff it and blend it just like you would an eyeshadow. Blend, 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 blend so that there are no harsh lines. And that is basically it. Leave it on for six hours or whatever it says on the bottle. And I know there are some that are like an express one hour tan, but I absolutely love the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark. I leave this on for six hours as recommended on the bottle. Sometimes I do leave it overnight. Really does depend. Um, I always am left with the same kind of color. I think after six hours, it just stops working. The ultra dark makes me feel like I've just come back from holiday from Cyprus where I get the best tan. With the sleep tan oil, literally six to 10 drops all over my face and that gives me a natural glow. I have got some foundation on now, but I feel like it's still a pretty good match to my body. I always bronze my skin anyway, so that always makes me look a little bit darker. That's pretty much it. I love this fake tan because it doesn't smell too much. While I had it on yesterday, my brother was like, I can smell coconuts. What is that smell? And I was like, oh, that's my fake tan. So that's why I really like this one. It doesn't have a horrible scent to it. It's, it's quite an overpowering scent, don't get me wrong, but it is coconut. It hasn't got that horrible biscuity smell. I've also written a blog post ages ago, which I will just link down below in case any of you guys want to have a little read of it. I think I've done it about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. That is pretty much it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.